What is going on guys, this is Inferno Pwn Engine today, I'm starting off my brand new series, Inferno Reviews, and this will be me, Inf me Inferno, reviewing things on Black Ops 3 such as guns and perks and specialists and all that sorts of stuff, so let's get right into it guys. So today for my first episode, I'm going to be, rev I'm going to be reviewing the, cute, the CUDA SMG, and uh, after this episode I'm going, to, I'm going to do all of the other SMGs in order, and then uh, I'll pick my next class from there. But anyways guys, the first thing I want to talk about today is the damage on the CUDA SMG. And this, the damage for the CUDA SMG will be anywhere from 35 to 19 damage. And I shouldn't say anywhere, it's actually 35, 30, 23, and 19. This means that at any range, the, the CUDA SMG will be a 3 to 6 shot kill. Uh, you're, you're gonna see, you're gonna have a lot of difficulty finding a 3 shot kill range for the S, for the CUDA. But a four, but the four shot kill range is immense. Four shot kill range is a lot better than any other SMG in the game. Now you guys want, want, might want to know the range for the CUDA, and that would be five meters for the 35 damage, and then that would that would be the three shot kill range, and then the four shot kill range would be anywhere up to 25 meters, which would be 30 damage. And then the four shot kill range is anywhere up to 50 meters, and that would be the 23 damage. And then the six shot kill range would be 50 plus meters, and that's the 19 damage. Okay, now that we looked at damage and range, one of the most two important things on a gun's stats, the next most important thing is the rate of fire. Now the rate of fire for the CUDA SMG is 720 RPM, which is rounds per minute. That's a little lower than normal, but it's really solid, really solid rate of fire for an SMG, and it'll help you keep your keep your aim, and you won't get too far off your target, and it's it's really well rounded off. Now with this in mind, the damage, the range, and the rate of fire, with all that in mind, we know that the CUDA SMG kills really fast at short range, and kind of moderate at far range. It's it's all right at far range, but you got to really keep your aim at far range cuz it may ha it may ha have kind of a balanced recoil, but it it might might throw you off at a far range. It depends on the player. Now for the next topic on the CUDA SMG, we'll be talking about the iron sights. Are they good? Are they hideous? Are they godlike? Should you use a red dot? Should you not? Should you use a recon sight or the barracks or the elo, whatever the other one is? My answer to that is, it has clear iron sights, and it's much similar to the MP5 from like the Modern Warfare series. Um, although I personally recommend using uh, either the ELO sight once you unlock it, it's like one of the last ones you unlock, or the recon sight. The recon sight, I don't know what it is, but I think it's just great for keeping on target, and it's pretty clear, and it's got a nice zoom level. But the ELO, I also recommend this for, my, for another series I'm about to start. For getting headshots, if you're going to go for gold, I would definitely use the ELO site for that. Um, that's about it on the iron sights, though. So next up for the CUDA SMG, I have an accuracy test. This first test is with the foregrip. Without a foregrip. And again with the foregrip. So as you can see, the foregrip makes the recoil patterns a lot more predictable. Next up, we'll be, ta we'll be talking about the ADS speed, which is aimed down sight speed. Um, and that, that's about 1.2 or 0.2 seconds, or one fifth of a second, which is pretty average for all the SMGs. But I would definitely recommend putting on a quick draw. Quick draw is really great for if you rush, if you like to rush, like me. I just run in and I get myself killed half the time, but I, that's my playing style, and if that's your guys' playing style, I, I would definitely recommend the quick draw grip. And finally, on a large list of aspects about the CUDA SMG, we have the reload speed, and the reload speed for the CUDA is 1.8 seconds, which is the fastest out of all of the SMGs, and that's really helpful. I wouldn't recommend a, uh, yeah, uh, I wouldn't rec would not recommend a a uh, fast mag or an extended mag because it's got a pretty um the clip size is 30 which is really isn't too bad uh i actually i tend to my, i tend to find myself like running out of ammo in team deathmatch i don't know why it's just team deathmatch but 
I use it in every other game mode. I'm, I'm weird, but I wouldn't recommend an extended mag or a fast mag. It's The reload speed is pretty suitable. It's very suitable. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Inferno Reviews. Today I did the CUDA SMG, and the next episode I will be doing the VMP SMG. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you guys out. Maybe the class recommendations or all of that maybe helped you know a little bit more about the gun or whatever. But I hope it helped you, and if it did, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.